A woman doing what you're doing right now, watching TV at home, is hit by a shotgun shell out of nowhere. Beverly Howard survived, and tonight she's talking with Nine on Your Side. Reporter Bryce Onslinger has Howard's message for gun owners. Bryce? Well, Carol and Clyde, Beverly Howard's, Howard's daughter drove her here to Mount Airy Hospital, Mercy Mount Airy Hospital, early this morning after she was accidentally shot by her neighbor. Now, tonight she's at home recovering and very thankful to be alive. It's really scary. This was the four that they got. But like I said, I have 10 left in me and three in my head. Beverly Howard holds the four shotgun pellets doctors were able to remove from her body. Ten pellets were too deep to remove and are lodged in her head, shoulder, and lower body. Doctors say they don't pose any danger and could eventually come out on their own. I'm a Jersey girl. Jersey girls are tough. You can shoot us, but we get back up most of the time. Howard had just laid down on this couch at just after 1 a.m. when she heard a boom in her house filled with plaster. It turns out her neighbor accidentally fired a shotgun through her wall. I sat up. And then I felt the pain and the blood started to run. You can see where dozens of pellets flew just over her body and into the side of her couch. She's thankful she was laying down and not sitting like she had been just moments before the shot. That was God. It was just because if I had been sitting up or if I had been laying down at this end, because you can see where the pellets went, I wouldn't be here right now. So... I'm very, I consider myself very fortunate. Howard decided not to press charges against the person who accidentally fired the shotgun, but she hopes gun owners take notice of what happened to her. I would ask anybody, everybody, if you have a loaded gun in your house, either put it somewhere where nobody can touch it or get rid of it. And you heard that story that Howard is from New Jersey. She says she moved from New Jersey to Cincinnati because Jersey was too violent. Well, tonight she's looking to move again. Bryce Onslinger, not on your side, live in Mount Airy. Uh, amazing, Bryce. Thanks.